They smile in your face all the while they want to take your place. Backstab us. Backstab us. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing today? I am back, okay, for our conversations. Now, I'm still trying to figure out what exactly I want to call this segment that I'm going to be doing with these pre recorders But nonetheless, today we are going to be talking about messy ass child messy ass king that's who we're going to be talking about today okay and all of his shenanigans and it is coming out okay he told on himself now if y'all don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about that little interview was it the interview what's called that little piece that him and messy heavenly did together we're going to talk about that today i'm actually going to run that clip and chop it up now you won't see anything okay but you will hear a little bit of what went on because i would just like to mm, react to it how about that i want to do a reaction to his lies because we know he ain't doing nothing but lying so y'all just hold on to your seat so we can talk about all this nonsense that's going on because we know messy king loves to come and tell his lies but before we do before we go any further please hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel okay before we get started also you know i have got to let you know that if you want to become a content creator reach out to me okay because i help people become content creators okay here's my email address they silver talk show at gmail.com you can do one-on-one -on -one training with me or you can buy my ebook or you can do a combination of both right now i am running a special okay for black friday i'm sorry not black friday black history month so come and get the special we need all the melameters on here that we can get and even if you don't want to become a melameter you can set up your own youtube channel so you can get some of this google and abc money honey okay they got plenty of it let's come and get some because them folks on the other side honey them clear folks they're getting all the coins i know you want your coins in your bag so you better come on in here and get this money again contact me on the silver talk show at gmail.com i am running a special to the end of the month so don't miss out and for those of you who have already contacted me i can't wait to get this training done child i got so many training sessions set up i am so grateful to god that he has blessed me but y'all better come on so y'all can take advantage of this special now let's get started so today we're going to talk about messy king and lying as heavenly over there okay caping and covering for that fool like she always does you know what i don't care for heavenly i know some of you do i don't okay heavenly ain't nothing but a pick misha and she ain't doing nothing but over there helping messy king tell the lies he telling both of them over the time well, i love male child you don't love nobody but them lies you telling is coming out your damn mouth that's the only thing y'all love lying ass okay but before i go off on a tantrum child let me just calm down and let me pull back a little bit okay and what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to let you listen to the lies that came out of these two mouths I see why Messy King and Messy as Heavenly are friends because they are two of a kind. One's in a male body and one's in a female body. Both of them messy, lying, okay, conniving, manipulating. That's all they're doing. But we ain't going. We're not falling for that mess. Now, hold on. Let me share my screen with you. I'm sorry. I'm not sharing my screen. I'm going to share the voice, okay? And I'm going to do a reaction to this nonsense. Ooh, child, give me just a minute. Let me get this old mess up here. Hold on, y'all. Now, Messy King and Heavenly are going to be talking supposedly to uh, the content creators, especially the Melameters, okay? I feel like this was a plot and a plan for them to come and talk about this because they try to do damage control. From what I gather from this conversation, uh, Heavenly has been getting emails or dms or something people have been contacting her about her being connected to this mess and of course messy king see messy king knows that melody got his number okay she sees you for exactly who you are and you're trying to do damage control i can't wait for mel to say deuces and be out of there but but let me let you listen to this nonsense they about to tell us because you know it's a whole bunch of bull crap anyway let's get started on him i do not strike content creators content it wouldn't that's make 
Now, that's a damn lie, okay? But let's let Heavenly go on so I can show you that you do strike channels lying ass. Because it builds you up, right? I just sit up here and said to you guys in nauseam that content creators and bloggers are the reason why our shows are successful. Now, we know that. We know the show is successful because of us. You ain't got to tell us what we already know. So what he's trying to do is gaslight us. But let me show you this right here. You don't you don't strike channels. Well, what does this say at the bottom of this screen? A strike on January 31st, 2024 by who? Content removed by messy ass king in case you can't see it let me blow it up for you see it right there at the bottom y'all see that so unless there is another messy king around here whose name is this who struck this and his name is on here and he had to have struck it because they will check to see where it came from and the strike comes from his channel okay if you're not a content creator you can't be striking these channels out here or unless it's music or something like that. So they are connecting this directly to him. Now, let's go on because you're a liar and we know you're a liar, but let's go on. Let me let you hear the rest of this mess that he's talking. I'm gonna leave this up here while he talked this mess so you can see that he did strike channels. He may not have done all of the strikes, but you absolutely do strike channels, okay? I don't care if it was one, two, 50 or 25. You strike channels. You just said you didn't, but you do. Let's go on. I'm going to let you hear this, okay? Hold on. Let me get over here. My raindrops know that at the end of the day, there's people out there who want to believe the worst about me. Now, what I will say is... Now, there's people out there that want to believe the worst about him. No, people don't want to believe the worst about you. We are showing you. You are showing us the worst about you. We don't have to want to believe anything. We see what you do. You've been showing us what you do. You've sat over there on your platform that you came to create amongst the rest of us. And you talked about everybody's show but your own. You sat back. And you let a woman that you said was your friend that you keep telling us that you love, you sat back and you let her ex, okay, use her, okay, A, B her, try to put out P tape on her, even when she went out there and put papers on him, the things that was allegedly supposedly done to the children, and you have said absolutely nothing. Then when she decides to forgive you, to some extent, and she does that collab with you, what do you do? Get on stage and talk about how you didn't know and all this other stuff and how you sorry, only to come back and strike the people that support her. The ones who have had her back, you know, the way you were supposed to have her back. You know how when she cried on your shoulders and said she was going to leave the show in the beginning and you promised her that you was going to have her back, you, you know, that kind of have her back. That is what you were supposed to do because she put money in your pocket and owns pocket and now Discovery's pocket. But instead, you got a bunch of people on here who don't know her, who are content creators, who are on here supporting her. And if I do say so myself, I had a heavy hand in getting content creators on here because I was training and teaching people how to come on then and I'm still doing it now. Messy King, what have you done when it comes to Melody? I want to know. Tell me. I won't wait and hold my breath because if I did, I will child pass out and pass away because we know you're lying. But let's go on. I did a live podcast with Melody, Dr. Melody Sheree Rogers. Yeah, well, her, her, right, that's her. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And I recorded it because I'm going to drop it on my YouTube channel. Unfortunately, a few people want, a few people up get it right look at him he can't even tell the lie straight look at him eyes got big look at his eyes and stretched out because he's trying to get his mind to hurry up and catch up with that lie that's about to come out of his damn mouth and look at heavenly heavenly got her lips punched like mm, get it right get it right gonna tell that lie right because she know what's going on they sat and talked about this crap before they came on here and fed us this bull shit that they trying to feed us we not falling for it but let's go on loaded my paid for podcast on their channels you, you see what i'm saying i don't before you even dropped it before i dropped it when i dropped my podcast interviews on tuesday everyone takes it everyone takes and i don't i don't care that helps me promote it so what happened was 
we saw a few people who uploaded my entire podcast interview. And now that's another lie. I don't remember seeing, and you all can tell me unless you saw something that I didn't. I don't remember seeing any content creators come out and upload your entire podcast that you did over there with Melody. I don't remember that. This is the other thing. Let's say that did happen. You are a content creator. You could have reached out to those people and said, can you please take this down? I don't want to strike your channel, but I don't want this to be seen, you know, so can you please take it down? Because I'm going to be putting this on the show. You could have done that. Also, it was said that a content creator who you did strike reached out to you to ask you about taking it down, taking the strike off because you can strike someone and then you can take that strike off. Okay. As a content creator, I was told that you, that that person reached out to you according to what they were told or what they said and that you ignored them. That's what you did. You ignored them. So we're over here and we're, yeah, we're making a little money, but we're not making anything compared to what you're over here making. You came over here in our lane. Don't you supposed to be a producer? Won't you go and produce something? How about that? Why are you over here? And now you over here trying to do damage control and you want us to believe that, oh, because they, they uploaded my whole entire podcast. That's why I struck them. You know, you telling the damn lie, right? We know you lying and you know you lying, but keep on lying though. I am going to upload it. I'm actually going to upload it next Tuesday. How, so, podcast? How could they have gotten the whole thing? Before because people, drive? instead of enjoying the show, people were doing this the whole, the whole two hours. Oh. Now he is showing the phone. You all don't see it because I won't show it. You just hear it. When Heavenly asked Messy King, how did people get the entire podcast? He said, because people was doing this and he's showing the phone as if a person was recording. What was said and what was reported when I asked people specifically, several different people were, they were allowed to record up to a certain point and then they were told they couldn't record anymore. And from what the content creators have been saying is that is the case that people did not put up the entire podcast or the part of it where they wasn't supposed to put it up. But again, let's just say they did because they didn't know they would get striked. You could have gone, you could have contacted them. You have a staff, you are a producer, like you love to tell us, you could have gave, given them people a warning the same way. You know how, uh, Small head, bald head, light skin. Maurice said that you told him to reach out to the people before he took legal action against them. You could have done the same thing, but you didn't. You struck the channels. I don't believe this was anything about, oh, they put the podcast up. I believe you came back and you was upset because the Melameter showed up and showed out. And that's not what you were expecting. I also believe you was upset because Mel called you out in front of everybody. That's what I believe. But let's go on. Oh, I see. I see. They did the whole two hours and they uploaded it. And that is what the issue was. But again, doesn't that make sense? You can't you can't record Marital Medicine and upload on YouTube channel and not expect the NBC Universal to strike it and say, God, look, I have heavenly just agree with anything. Let me tell you something about women like Heavenly. I don't give a damn if Heavenly got a doctor's degree or whatever the hell she get. I don't care nothing about her being a dentist for 55 years. I don't care about any of that. Okay. What we know about her, she's messy as hell. And in my opinion, she's on here agreeing with her friend because it's her friend. There's a, it's a problem when you have friends that can't tell you the truth about a situation. You're just going to agree to whatever. Now there's a part in here that was cut out because I got this from T's T talks page and child T talk is a content creator. Y'all go over there and support my girl. Okay. She's always supporting me. T talk with your girl, go over there and support her. She's always giving out content. She does two, three videos. Some, some days, right? Go over there, support her, and tell her that they Silver sent you, okay? Because we love to support each other as far as the Melameters are concerned and other content creators as well. But, uh, you know, there was another part where Heavenly comes on and says, um, you tell me you didn't strike people. I know you didn't strike people's channel. I know you didn't. You don't know. Yes. Anything else? You Anything you want to say before we start? Um, well, let me look, clear how, things up now, Carlos. I don't know if I should say this or not, but I know it's not true, so I'm gonna put it out there. You ain't striking nobody channels, since you they keep emailing me and texting me for uh -huh. channels, so clean that up. 
telling people you ain't striking nobody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people put stuff out there and they believe it. Well, it that's, well, exactly. Oh, nothing. How you know? Was you there having it? Did you see him strike the channel? Because I just showed you his name, Biggest Day, where he did strike the damn channel. I just showed that, okay? So what you mean, you know? You don't know nothing. You just over here taking up for your friend. No matter what he does, you think it's okay. And that's a problem. I, If you want to talk about the show, do that. So that's all it was. But of course, someone took that and said, Carlos is a hater. He's He's striking black people who are blogging. He he's 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 striking people who talk about him. He is talking about Sherelle's world, okay? He's talking about Sherelle saying that because Sherelle, she talked about him striking. And other people talked about it as well. But see, what's happening right now is Sherelle being a really big content creator. She's like 500 and 500 something thousand subscribers. And her putting that out hit a lot of people it went to a lot more people than us putting it out right all of us combined together does not get her numbers again i've said this before you know sherelle doesn't care for male you know a lot of us don't really care for sherelle but the bottom line is whether you care for her or not she put the information out there and so now he's worried because this doesn't just stay in the melameter realm this goes out to other people okay with that large subscriber base that she has and I feel like he's panicking for two reasons. You got to do damage control now. And he also probably wants Mel to still believe that he's some friend of hers. When in my opinion, he is not. Okay. I've said this on a previous interview. I mean, on a previous video that he is a knock in my opinion, just like hotel. That's my opinion. He operates the same way narcissistic people do. But let's go on. If I would have striked everybody who talks about me, I wouldn't have a job. There you have it. There All y'all do is talk about me. And, I'm, and and let's be clear, I'm not mad at it. We don't care if you are mad at it. We're going to continue to talk about you. Y'all, Why he not laughing and giggling like he normally do? He upset. Look at his eyes stretched all big. Y'all can't see this. I'm sorry. I can't show y'all this. But his eyes stretched all big and stuff. You know, this is really upsetting to him. It really is. This is pissing him off, okay? Hold on. Let me see something. Give me just a second. Hold on. Give me a second, y'all. Look at that. Them eyeballs are stretched out, okay? He got them eyeballs stretched out. He is pissed. Look at his facial expression. He like, y'all getting on my damn nerves. Y'all done outed me. Y'all got this, this lady, Sherelle, over there. I don't know who told this big content creator because she's twice the size of his channel, okay? And so look at him. He just looking crazy right now. This is damage control. This is, I know, you know what they're saying? You know you done fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up. That's what I think this is right now. Let me cover this mess back up, child, so we can finish listening to it. Hold on, y'all. Let me get over here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, but, but there you go. But again, again, that's the truth. People ran with it and try to make it seem like I'm this horrible person, and, and that's not the case. Well, I feel like there is some horrible something in you when you sit back and you know that this woman's ex has been coming after her when you sit back and you say nothing about it you don't bring it up you don't talk about it. you don't talk about anything in reference to him and let's talk about how the melameters were told that if you they came to this show how you would be dressing some things when it came to uh hotels arrests and things like that i wasn't there but according to what i heard you didn't dress the damn thing okay that's what I was told. I was told that you didn't address anything. You lied. They showed up and you did what you usually do, child. Nothing. That's what I was told. So to me, that's a horrible person to know that this woman has gone through everything that she has gone through and the children. Because let's not forget that article that was written about hotel and what he allegedly supposed to did to his children. And you haven't said anything. Not only have you not said anything, but you still continue to try to promote him when you get a chance to. That's a problem. To me, that's a horrible person. My opinion, okay? That is a horrible person 
to know that she has gone through all that she has gone through and you act like you don't see it. You put your blinders on, but somehow, some way you can see everything that happens on these other shows with these other women. And that ain't your business. Okay. I know you, are, you a blogger. We know you a blogger like the rest of us, but if you're going to be a blogger, blog about your messy ass show and all this going on. Why don't you do that? When he does, you notice how if he ever talks about his show, he brings somebody else on there to talk about it. He won't say nothing about it. Child, let's go. On. And I know you're not. And you want to say like, "Oh, we got something on him." I So let me tell you something, okay? This is my issue with him and people like him. Just like hotel, okay, let's do a little comparison. Just like hotel, when they get caught in their bull crap, what do they do? Deflect. And they want to say that uh, that people want them to be this horrible person. Or people want to have a reason to not like them. Or people want to do this and do to them. How all of a sudden you become the victim? How? When you have been a part of the bullshit. Well, you sat back and you watched things happen when you yourself, in my opinion, have participated in trying to bring Melody down. In spite of how many chances she has tried to forgive you and that dab on demon of over there that she used to be married to time and time again, she's tried to forgive him and she's tried to do the right thing. And what does he do? In my opinion, he stabs her in the back. It looks like to me, you're doing the exact same thing. Because she was done with you, according to her. She was done with you until someone talked to her and told her pretty much to not just throw the relationship away, okay? To not charge it to your heart, to give you another chance. And what happens when she comes and give you another chance after all the millimeters come out and travel from all over to come there, to spend their money, to sit down so that your podcast that you supposed to put up can be in existence? You used her and the millimeters, in my opinion. You got those people, you got the millimeters to come out and you got her to come out so that you can create a podcast, child. It's a one and done because I don't believe, I've said this before, I don't believe he's going to have any other podcast, but we shall see. I feel like it was a one and done. And let me see it say this about messy ass heavenly, okay? We don't believe nothing that you say heavenly because you don't know how to treat your own friends. I've seen the things that you said about your so-called friends. And then you want to say, well, I'm just telling you, it's a part of the show. I swear, I don't mean nothing by it. You know, I don't mean nothing by it. You don't treat your friends like that before no show or anything else. I'm not going to talk about my friends in a negative way for no TV show. That's not a friend. I don't give a damn. Okay. To me, it's not a friend. That's my opinion. If you got friends that act one way when they with you and act another way when they're around other people, dump their ass. They ain't your friend. You're going to either be my friend all the time or none of the time. You're not going to pick and choose. You're not going to get around other people and then act like you don't know me and talk about me like I'm some stranger on the street. But then when you in my face, you want to act like we're friends and you want to apologize and act like you don't know the things that you said about me was wrong. OK. Friends don't tell friends business and friends don't talk about friends in a way that they know that it will hurt them. And friends don't use their friends just to make money or to make a show, make people come out and see a show. That's not a friend. So I'm saying that to say this. You ain't got no love for nobody, in my opinion. Because a part of this, too, where they talked about how they love Mel. That ain't no love. That ain't no love. That's undercover hate. That's heterism. That's what that is. If you smile in my face and tell me you my friend and then stab me in my back, you a hater, okay? You my enemy. You are not my friend. I don't know what is wrong with these people where they think that they can come on this YouTube and tell us anything they want to tell us and act like we can't see past the bullshit that you telling us, but we got your number messy King. And another thing he said that I didn't put up here was he talked about karma going to get somebody karma getting your ass right now. Cause your shows are all failing. Karma's getting you right now. 
comma and dama okay commas twin sister and let me tell you what people have been saying to me and we know we you know people love mail but because of you because of what you've done to the content creators i have had so many people contact me and say they are not going to watch the show because of you they want to support mail but because of you women are tired of seeing women be used and screwed up they've already said they're not watching none of your other shows so nine times out of ten your shows are going to be off tv soon that new show of yours is the numbers are child so low i'll be surprised if they bring it on another season you're going to keep losing shows and to try to reverse your karma and try to put it on other people because you want to sit up there and protect the snots and their bad business practices and you trying to use that to scare somebody no karma's coming to you karma and dom is coming to you that's why you're on here doing this damage control because you already know you already see did he laugh i don't see him on here laughing and snickering and showing all his damn teeth okay and 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 yelling all loud and showing his tonsils and all that other stuff he do you know why because he's afraid sooner or later you keep doing the stuff you're doing you're gonna be a blogger and that's all like the rest of us and you won't be on here producing nothing because you forgot the person that's bringing the views you forgot about that i don't know if you think it's you i don't know if you think it's those other fools on your show or what but you shall be reminded okay we're going to remind you we're going to let you know i can't wait for the day that mel decides she wants to move on because we're going to see what happens then but that'll be a male's time okay she has to make that decision but your time is coming because that's not the only way to get rid of a snake okay sometimes the snake just gotta be the head gotta be cut off from the snake for the snakes to stop slithering around and maybe that's what's going to happen to you maybe melody will stay on her show and maybe you'll move on to other things who knows because you don't own own or discovery you don't own love and marriage huntsville let me tell you and i know you know this you keep on and you making those numbers go down because a lot of people don't want to watch because of you they'll be removing you that's what's gonna happen you not you're not irreplaceable not at all i know you think you're the king of reality you are the king of mess you are the king of lies you are the king of deceit that's the only thing you're the king of. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to come and give you my thoughts for today. Thank you, family, for listening to me, okay? I will be doing a live soon. I'm trying to set some of that up now, but I've been so busy with training. But I just wanted to come and give you my thoughts and opinion. Now, you go on down in them comments and you tell me what you think. I want to hear all of your thoughts and all of your opinions about what you just heard me talk about and anything else in relation to this show that you want to talk about just get in them comments and let me know how you feel and so the rest of the family can also see how you feel now don't forget if you want to become a content creator reach out to me because you can do the same thing that the rest of us is doing right here is my um information day silver talk show gmail.com reach out to me let me know if you want to purchase the ebook this is the name of the ebook tips and tricks to grow a youtube channel quickly or you can get one-on-one -on -one training or you can do a combination of both right now i am running a special where you can buy the ebook and you can get one session training with me okay the ebook is something that is valuable because you can refer back to it over and over and over again you have to decide if you want the training uh, which training you want or a combination of the trainings it is totally up to you and what you decide to do i hope you do come on and become a content creator i want you to have another stream of income like i do in spite of all this nonsense that has been going on youtube is a great source for you to get another stream of income and you never know wherever else this is going to lead you okay and so come on here with the rest of us 
Come and build a fortress around Melody like the rest of us are doing. You can either do this, you know, and cover this show and cover Melody. You know, Melody's show is coming out, right? So we're going to be covering her show over there on the Nubia Network, right? Uh, we'll be covering that as well. Or you can be a content creator and do other things. You don't have to be on this side of YouTube. And if you don't know what you want to do as a content creator, I have 13 of the top niches that you can choose from this in my ebook. I have other niches. I have probably about 20 to 30 other niche in total. So in, in addition to the 13, I have about 20 to 30 that you can add on to that top niches where you can make plenty of money. I just didn't have the space because this is supposed to be a quick tips and tricks um, ebook. And so I did not have the space to put everything in there that, you know, I know. But I put the things in there that can get you up and running very quickly, okay? So if you want to become a content creator, child, stop hesitating. Come and get some of this Google money, okay? Because this money can be good, child. Let me tell you. Anyway, let me get out of here before I talk y'all to death. I told y'all I'd talk a lot. And let me tell you something before I go. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just talking you to death. For those of you who commented on my last couple of videos, my uploads, thank you so much. And thank you for those of you who have watched. I really and truly appreciate you. And you just make me want to come on here more, you know, and do more pre-recorders. I am really enjoying doing these pre-recorders, although I will be on Patreon sometimes and I will be doing the lives. But I'm going to be putting up more pre-recorders because... I'll be able to fit that in the time. I have a lot of training that I'm doing. You know, people are buying the ebook. Like I said before, the ebook is selling like hotcakes, honey. Selling like hotcakes. And so come and get your ebook. Come on and become a content creator. Don't be scared, okay? Ain't nothing to be scared about. I know you got a lot on your mind that you want to talk about. I know it's a lot of things that you hear us say that you agree with. Some things you probably don't agree with, but we want to hear what you got to say. And the only way we can do that is if you become a content creator, start your own channel, and tell us what you got on your mind, okay? Anyway, let me get out of here. Thank you, family, so much for being here. I'll see you on another video soon or i'll talk to you on another video soon bye family you do to make me stay now it's like you don't even try i used to wonder why but now i'm left with no more tears to cry i know that life can be busy love but you make time for the ones you love it's only right it's what i deserve Right, it's what I deserve. Love, tell me what you.